morning. Yes, it's still morning. Today is Friday. I am on break right now. What's been going on? Oh, so maybe two videos ago, maybe three, I don't know. I went to the post office because remember I told you guys that my key wasn't working. Well, that was about four weeks ago and I still didn't get my key. I was going every Saturday to the post office like they told me to to get my new key so when I finally went last week I wasn't mean or anything but I was just like look it's been three weeks there's mail in my mailbox and I don't check my mail every day anyway I check it about once a week so them telling me to come back in a week the first time was no big deal so after the third week I'm like there's mail in my mailbox I know it's full first of all can you check and see if there's any mail there at the post office that couldn't fit? And if not, can you put a rush on it or something? Because he showed me the list and where the girl wrote my name in. Everyone after me, they signed off on getting their mailbox key changed. But mine was just, you know, undone. So I guess it was the manager that I spoke to. And no, I did not ask to speak to the manager. That was the manager that I spoke to, and he, and he said, um, well, they didn't do it because you didn't pay the $50. I said, okay. I said, if you want $50, I will give it to you. I said, however, the le young lady, and I told him who she was, I said, she told me that if I turned in my key, then I wouldn't have to pay the 50 but if I kept the key, then I would have to pay the $50. I said, if, if that's what it's all, all about. I'll give you 50 right now. And he said, no, 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 but for future, if you needed your mailbox change, you know, it'll be $50. I get that. But if the person tells me that I don't have to pay because you're gonna turn your key in, then that's what I'm gonna do. And I said, well, can I just pay to make sure it's gonna get done? No, since that's what you were told, then, you know, we'll honor that this time. And it's like, you know what? I'm tired of them telling me what they're gonna honor this time. Just do it or not, you know? Well, I mean, honor it or not. So then he told me it's definitely going to get done that I can come Friday, which is today or tomorrow to pick up my key. So this morning it was like 7 to 10 and I got a phone call and I didn't recognize the number. And I'm the type of person that my friends and my family, they are saved into my phone. So if a number comes up, I don't answer. You leave a message and if I feel that I should call you back, then I'll call you back. So they did leave a message and I guess it was the locksmith that was coming out. He was asking me the correct spelling of my street. So I told him and then he said, do I want to go out and get the key from him if I don't live too far from the mailbox or to turn it over to the um, post office and I could just pick it up today. When he was finished, he called me and he said, you know what, ma'am, I'm right here. If you don't mind, you know, I'll save you a trip. Just come get your keys. I'm in a white van. <laughs> so I'm like, mm. and then he seen my hesitation and he said, it has United States Postal Service written all on it. I'm like, okay. So I said, can you give me a couple minutes? And I said I need to um, get dressed because I was in my bonnet because I'm working from home today. So I threw on what I have on now and just threw my hair to this crazy bun, which it looks really bad right now. And then I went out and got my key. So yes, you guys, four weeks it took for the post office to change my mailbox key. Crazy, right? So all that to say, I got finally got my mailbox key. But anyway, I was gonna go out today to get my mailbox key and I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby because I don't know if you guys remember for Christmas I got a $15 gift card from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna go see what Hobby Lobby has. Not that I need anything from Hobby Lobby but it doesn't matter. And y'all see these gray hairs all along here? Yeah, they are coming more so now and I used to be able to pluck them every now and then, you know, when I seen one. But yes, yes, I know they said once you pluck them, five more will grow back, which it definitely has because if I try to pluck these, I'm going to be bald headed like right here. Disrespectful. So yeah, what else is going on? Not much, you guys. I mean, I'm getting good sleep. I'm so excited about that. The bags under my eyes and the darkness is lightening up. I don't know if you guys noticed that before in my videos that I had dark circles underneath my eyes. And I noticed now that they are lightening up. My kids made sure that I knew they knew that I had dark circles under my eyes. 
mean kids. <laughs> They're not mean, but you know how kids are. They gonna tell you the truth. Ooh, y'all, it feels so good to get out of the house. I don't know if I told you guys. I don't feel like I have, but after our church conference, Rona girl came into our household. Yes, we were sick. But the good thing about it is it wasn't that bad this time for me because I did get it last year as well. And I was able to work from home for these last few weeks. So yeah, we were in the house and yeah, but it wasn't that bad this time. Not that I want to keep getting it, but I'm just saying it wasn't that bad, thankfully. <clears throat> so yes, I am here at Hobby Lobby. I'm excited and I didn't really come to get anything in particular. I don't really need anything, but I just want to see what they have. And there was something that also I was going to tell you guys. I don't remember. Oh, y'all, this ain't what I wanted to tell you guys, but I went to Raising Cane's last week. I think it was. Not, I didn't go last week. I take that back. It was a few weeks ago before we got sick because I've been in the house. Anyway, went to Raising Cane's and Raising Cane's came from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I think that's where it got started. And when they first came to Sacramento, they put their best foot forward and the food was so good and flavorful. Fries were good and I'm not huge on fries, but their fries were so good. Well, I went there and never going back because apparently they don't care about things anymore because the fries were soggy. <clears throat> The chicken really didn't have any flavor to it and it was just a whole lot of blood. And yeah, have you guys tried Raising Cane's? Do you guys have Raising Cane's in your area? And let me know what you think because I thought it was wonderful and great and I was telling everyone about it when we first got it. And now it's like, I think it's been here a year, I think. Or maybe less than that, I don't know. But the lines are not as long anymore and now I see why because they have gone down in quality. All right, you guys, I don't know why I'm just sitting here. Probably because I don't have anywhere else planned to go and I just wanna be out. I guess I could take a drive somewhere, but that's wasting gas, I don't know. All right, let's go in Hobby Lobby and see what I can get. All right, you guys, I am back in the car. I literally can stay at Hobby Lobby for hours, you guys. I love that store so much. But I made myself get out because when I went in, I told myself I am not going to force myself to get something just because I have a gift card. And I didn't force myself to get anything. I will show you guys what I got when I get home. Um, the gift card was for 15 and so out of pocket, I think I paid $17 for the stuff that I got. I didn't get very much, just a few little things. And I got things that I will actually use and things that I didn't even know I needed until I seen it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go home. There's not really anything that I need to do. Um, because I know if I go to Target, I will spend more money than I need to, and there's not really anything I need. <clears throat> when we were sick, did like grocery order delivered to the house and just things like that. So there is nothing that I need right now. All right, let's go home and I will show you guys what I got when I get there. Okay, so show you guys what I got. The screen cover that you put on food when you're frying it. I got some cutting mats, came in a set of four. I do have a cutting board. I have always like wanted to get some of these and when I go to the store, I don't think about it. And when I seen these, I'm like, let me get them. So set of four and then I got these two to put in each side of my sink. And if you're saying why get 
two because one side is where the garbage disposal is because it's cute and because I can and plus sometimes you know how you pour stuff down the sink where the garbage disposal is if there's like a little bone or something that's there it'll like go through and you will have to dig your hand down the nasty garbage disposal to get it out so I just got two plus they're cute they're sunflowers and you guys know I love sunflowers so yeah and also this cup right here I think it's really cute you guys you can take the lid off right there and drink out of there or use the straw and the straw bins as well like that so yeah hopefully it'll keep my drinks hot or cold or whatever I choose to put in it so I got this one and they had one that was like cheetah print but I decided on getting the flower one instead and you guys let me tell you a quick story about cups like that me and my kids and I started it because I have a thing for cups and I passed that along to them. So when they were younger, we would go to the store and I would let them pick out cups that would be their personal cups. And of course, you know, when the girls were really little, they would pick out like Disney or Princess or, you know, something like that. And Tyreek would pick out something that had trucks on it or I don't know, something that he liked at the time. And we always did that. And even now we still do it. And if we see each other using our cup, that's ours, we'll side-eye them and look at them like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> not that no one can use it, but no one can use it because that's ours, you know? So. so the only thing I don't like about this is the holes are larger than the one that um, is here. So, yeah, if I'm finding that things are slipping through a lot, then I don't know. I bought it because it was cute, so, yeah. We'll see. So I bought this three-tier cart to use here in my room for everything for my CPAP machine because I woke up twice and this machine was like this and these things are not cheap and I don't want to have to pay full price for one because it dropped. So I seen something on TikTok that said get the cart and put everything for your CPAP supplies. So I'll show you guys once I fix it and get everything on there. All right, so everything CPAP related is right there. Now this is just a whole lot easier. That way I can have everything in one place, the water down there and then the bag that like the travel case and yeah, just anything, extra hoses and the mask. So that's where everything will be. Y'all see this? My backlight on my TV went out. So it still works perfectly fine. You just can't see anything. I was watching TV one night and the screen went black and I actually thought it was the video. Oh my goodness, what's on here? Um, I actually thought it was the video that went black. Nope, it's the TV. So, what I found is a place that repairs TV for dirt cheap, and they said it would be worth um, repairing the backlight instead of getting a new TV. Since my screen is not cracked, and I want that to stay that way, the TV is not that heavy. So, we can put it in a car, and we're going to go take it down now, and yeah. But, okay, don't judge me on my TV, the wall, not the TV, but the wall. Yes, when I paint it, I paint it around the TV because I didn't want to take it off. Don't judge me. So, yeah. And you know what? This will be the perfect time to paint. Okay, and I do have extra paint. Yep, I'm going to paint that probably today. All right, you guys. Let's go get this TV checked out. And hopefully it won't cost an arm and a leg. Oh, I'm in Savannah's car. Drop the TV okay, off. Hold on. Let me do that so you can get... <laughs> Thank you. Um, in Savannah's car, she doesn't want to be on the camera right now she's beautiful but i respect that anyway drop the tv off he is going to call me on monday and let me know how much it's going to cost and savannah got me out spending money and we're about to go spend some more money thanks savannah you're welcome so i got a mango nada and savannah got matcha but i also went to it's called little brazil okay so this is what i got beans and rice and then meat, um, crab salad, and some kind of beef stew and a plantain. And they charge about a pound, so I didn't want to get a whole lot. But I'm going to try it. And yeah, it's this Brazilian place. So 
everything looked authentic and good so right, yes yeah. it is sunday after church and the girls drove together because savannah left earlier than i did so anyway i'm driving home from church and this car i'm on the freeway so i'm going a little bit faster right so, and the car that was behind me i guess decides they want to do 90 on the freeway i don't know so he fought to get in front of me and then all of a sudden like smoke and just like this mist and i don't know particles or whatever came out of his um exhaust pipe and it got on my window and i had to hurry up and turn my um, windshield wiper on in the water because I could not see. So I had to come to the car wash because there's a film that's on my car and it's horrible. I don't think you guys can see it because of the position that I'm in. But yeah, I'm in the driveway, not in the driveway. I am in line for the car wash because whatever that's on my windshield, I want it off. I don't think you guys can tell, but well, maybe, I don't know. It's a little bit clearer and then it's like really foggy or whatever and hazy like on this side right here. I don't know, you guys probably can't see, but yeah, my windshield is, there's like a haze that's over it. So then after whatever came out of their exhaust, it was like so much that a lot of cars slowed down and then that car got over. So they were experiencing something going on with their engine. I hope they get it worked out or whatever, but I just want this off my windshield because I can't see. Y'all, this video is going to be all over the place. I do know this. I am story of my life right now. But anyway, I'm going to paint over this while the TV is at the shop, which I'll tell you guys later, which I will be getting the TV back fixed. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm going to paint, but I'm not going to put primer on this area like I did the <laughs> wall because there's always going to be a TV here. It will probably look a whole lot different, but yeah, let me paint this area because why not well hello there it's me so I painted the area on the wall I'll show you guys later but I'm in my room because my TV is here and the TV is at the shop oh they did call me today and it was the picture light the backlight or whatever that went out on the TV and the good news is see y'all I was always told that when the picture or the backlights go out on the TV, it's best to get a new one. I guess that's what they'll try to tell you because of course they want you to spend money on a brand new TV. The shop where I'm taking it to, well, where it's at, he charged me $25 to get it checked out and that goes towards the repairing of the TV. So he said it's $220 to repair it, so I'm gonna pay $195. Can you get a TV for $195? Probably, but the TV that's in the living room, it's 60 inch, I think, 55 or 60, and it's still good or whatever. So, um, I did not pay 220 for that TV. I paid way more. So to me, it's totally worth it getting it fixed. If it went out again in two years, then I would, you know, get a bigger, well, not necessarily a bigger TV, but, you know, then maybe I'd look into buying another one. But I think it was totally worth it this time. Save me at least around four to five hundred dollars on another TV so it was worth it he said they have to order the parts which they can't do until tomorrow he said he would call me on Friday to let me know when I could pick the TV up so yeah you guys that's in the works and oh I have my bandana on because I am going to the gym later I have a Zumba class at 6 30 so I'm gonna do that y'all I was going to this gym and I'm always trying to support small businesses stuff like that so i signed up with this gym and it's small whatever no big deal and i was told that eventually they were going to have classes which for me the way i lose weight i need a class i just know how my body works and whatever so they i don't know it's just the whole dynamic of the gym and just 
everything they are not bringing back their classes which i guess they had classes where instructors taught zumba or kickboxing and stuff like that and they're not bringing that back i don't want to go to a gym where it's just the treadmill and a few weights in the back because i need more and i just know me so anyway i signed up again with 24 hour fitness which i should have never left but i was trying to give this gym a chance but anyway i'm back to 24 back to what i know classes so yeah gonna do that tonight okay so i painted behind the tv and honestly you guys you cannot tell a difference like i thought it was going to be like a huge difference because that area wasn't primed but i guarantee you if i did not prime the walls before i painted it it would look a whole lot different than it does now so yeah um that's it and i know it looks crooked it is, it's like slanted a little bit, but that's because when me and Tyreek first put it up years ago, this was before I started vlogging, we got it on there and it's so sturdy and it's so strong that once I seen where it was, I just left it. So what I've been doing is the TVs that I put up there, I've just had to like adjust it to make it level, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that the paint behind there is done. And not that it mattered because no one would never see behind the TV when the TV gets up there. So, okay, I'm just rambling. I'm in the living room because I don't want to stay in my room all day just because my TV's in there. So I have my little setup here, my iPad and my couch charges devices. So I'm just going to watch a few things on here and then I'll probably read a little bit later. So... The first night of our conference is live on YouTube. No, not live, but just the song service for that night. So I'm not going to play it all. Sunday and I am getting ready for church. Um, I have about 40 more minutes before we leave so I decided to bring out the camera talk to you guys for a minute. Um, still gotta do something to my hair. I'm not gonna do much to it but probably just I don't know. Anyway I am one of six siblings. I have six siblings total. Um, my two brothers that you guys have seen on my channel here are on my mom's side and there's four on my dad's side that you guys have never seen at all. That's because I have a sister that lives in Germany and the others live in Texas and Louisiana. My brother on my dad's side, and you guys have not seen him, he passed away earlier this month. He was only 43 and I'll put a picture up somewhere so you guys can see a picture of him i think we look a little bit alike we favor each other so yeah sad news him and i haven't talked in a while and it's not that we fell out or anything we just you know life is and i grew up mainly around my mom's side of the family and my brothers on my mom's side so i didn't really know my siblings on my dad's side a whole lot although the youngest one on my dad's side, me and him have really connected and we look so much alike. And if I can find a picture of him, I'll put a picture up of him as well. So you guys can see the uncanny resemblance of me and my brother. Yeah, and then two sisters on that side as well. I don't think you guys can see it or maybe you can, but I have my TV back there, y'all. I just, well, I didn't just leave work, but I left work and I had to go to the other side of town because it was ready for pickup. And now I'm headed home. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, it's back on the wall and my girls are being completely silly. Okay, so I am finished with Shameless and I'm sad that I'm done watching it, but I needed something new to watch. And so I started watching this show on Netflix called Jenny and Georgia. It is so cringe, you guys. And I'm already invested there's two seasons and I'm on the second season right now 
but oh my goodness so I'm not gonna tell you everything about the show but mother and daughter and daughter need some old school discipline I want to reach in there and just like ooh, she is like so disrespectful rude entitled and just downright just uh and not that I agree with everything the mom has done that is kind of a spoiler but anyway have you guys seen the show Jenny and Georgia I think it's okay it's something to watch it is very cringe but yeah have you guys seen this what do you think Shh.